Okay, I'm leaving the light off for this one. It's too bright. The firewood's wet. Oh, shit. So we're not gonna have uh, cook eggs for breakfast, so we'd have to slum it and go down into the town and eat breakfast or something. But I guess I'll be able to handle that because uh, they probably have a bathroom or something like that. And um, I didn't hear any bears walking around last night. All the talking grizzlies and stuff. Um, but anyway, it's been probably 20 something years since we've been in the tent. I had a pop for a while, but that was years ago too. And that was like a glorified tent. But at least it was inside. You could walk around, sort of. Now we're in a shelter half. Um, it's cold. But we do have an air mattress that so hasn't uh, has deflated because if it rains again, we might start floating down the, the hill here. So at least we have something we can float on. Uh, anyway, perhaps by a whisper show up soon and we can have a party. Yellowstone uh, Canyon Falls Cafe and whatever. Actually, we just got it. that's the Falls Cafe. And this is our double shot cappuccinos. Oh, here's a roll. We really didn't have anything planned the first thing this morning. Rusty and Boo Boo decided to yeah. sleep in today. Yay! They said pick him up after breakfast and bring him something. The lazy bums. Anyhow, we figured uh, let them sleep a while before we head up to the ranch thing where the truck wagon thing is. That's like an hour's drive or something. We're taking a picture of each other. Luckily for us, probably more lucky for me. It was a sign by uh, the Canyon Village referring to a waterfall or something. I will confess, I thought this area was more northwestern, like by the Roosevelt Horse Ranch thing. Duh. That's why I said probably more lucky for me. You would have uh, not been happy. <laughs> Which would make me not happy. Thank you, God. All right, so now we're going to the other vantage point, which is a ways down, but we keep on going these little outlets here. But we haven't gone down. down. Here. Oh, you can kind of see it, let's see. Oh, it's semi flat. Yeah. Not my nose, my nose is big. 
All right. Uh, on another note, <laughs> I don't laugh. being old, I was taking a fiber gummy, and <laughs> being that I'm old, I had a crown, and it came out from a. a <laughs> oh, and it's the, one of the softest gummies in the world. It must have been ready to come out right away. Or I have no idea. So Anyhow, look for I'll see you if I can get to Dennis. They can just walk in, put some super glue, whatever it is, and glue oh, it back in. Oh, it's, it's just taking me over here. So, that's it. I, I'd show you, but you don't want to see it inside my mouth. Listening for your voice, looking for the last fingerprints of what they're going. But they're gone I look through the cracks in the leaves Working on spelling out things But nothing came And nothing came I don't want to let I don't want to let The summer be over I don't want to let I don't want to let You go I don't want to let I don't want to let The summer be over. I don't want to let you go. Morning. Okay, it's got a, some creaky guy looking in, in the frame here. Oh, no, me. Oh. <laughs> I'm the creepy guy. Jeez, I thought you knew that. I thought that's what you liked about me. I'm the creepy guy. Elvis, uh, Ross Virginity. Wolfie, I'm going to praise you a song. Okay, baby, I will. I still left you. She, she, every time I start singing to a song on the radio, she changes the station. Is she trying to tell me something? I don't change it. I put the radio on. It turned on. Yeah, well, all right, what's if the there's difference? there's no radio on and you start singing, that's when... I put the radio. I'm so hard. I'm so hard. <laughs> He's got a good picture in the lights on him and he's shining. I'm doing a video. He's coming in. Give me some of those nuts, he said. What was the beak in that thing? I know, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's, he's doing his photo. Jeez. Oh my god. I video everything. I didn't, so you did I didn't break the pants on to go. I didn't have any Um I didn't say I was wearing those. Okay, well I don't wanna if we're um wearing this to the well, it's like a jogging or anything. This is uh why not? I told you I was wearing these. I was gonna wear these. I was gonna wear the next one. Just let your hand clean. The clean clothes? Yeah, I don't know why you shake your hand. This is my Coca Cola commercial. They don't pay me anything, but I do like Coke Zero. Well, that's not really what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what this is our minivan we ran it, huh? She swore she would never drive a minivan, although I seen them want to be driving. And they drive crazy. They have 80 mile an hour on two lane highways some places and on the interstate and with turns and all that stuff. Just not used to it. I'm a flatlander being a southerner, so very southerner. So I was in there taking the shower and I noticed the sign said, uh, the closest internet's like an hour away or something. Uh, wi Fi. Uh, Luckily, we have uh, a little bit of cell service right here. You lose it pretty quick. And I was ragging on, um, what was it? Torres de Peña in Chile, without you know, really having anything out there. And maybe it's a national park thing. Yeah, like, 
they both have very nice people, so they got that going. Um, anyway, it's just digging around, looking for stuff, it's just getting mad. I'll go. Salutations, morning campers. They're not morning people, Rusty. That's not what I meant. It's, uh, oh, never mind, boo-boo. Don't you mean showing fleet? It's not so easy to narrate while... Hold on now. Don't be complicating. What you think with what was, or is... You can be such a chepale sometimes. Anyway, as I was commencing with my pontification, Yellowstone North Central Area is a less densely visited part of this great national park. Being that it is found around one hour and 30 minute drive from the Great Geyser Basin, one should find the crowds of nature lovers to be a little less intrusive. This beautiful two-lane highway will offer visitors some of the most unobstructed views in the park. The drive wanders back and forth through these pristine mountains. At one point, with a little detour up, you can find yourself at a staggering elevation around 10,000 feet above sea level. From there, if time and Mother Nature permits, one could walk the rest of the way up to the top of Mount Washburn at an elevation of 10,243 feet. At this heavenly point, the 360 degree view is one of a kind to take in. Access to the Mount Washburn Peak is not always available best to check with the park rangers for availability to this wondrous view. As it went, Mother Nature and her counterpart, Father Time, took it upon themselves to run out the clock and bestow to us, well, let's just say, a f***ing hailstorm. Pardon my verbiage and discretion. Tatanka, also known as the American Bison, is one of this grand land's treasures. In the early 20th century, Tatanka was on the verge of becoming extinct. With help from such organizations like American Bison Society, Native American tribes, conservation groups, local and national government agencies, and others, the American bison is now flourishing in and around Yellowstone. All right, we're at some kind of cattle ranch thing. We're doing a chuck wagon, so I'm going to do this. something to say? Oh. Nothing? Nothing? We're at a corral waiting for a chuck wagon ride. Well, where's your hat? What kind of car girl are you? I don't know. Look. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'll still tip my yeah. hat to you. <laughs> okay, well, if you're here for cookout, you're in the right place. 
My name is Steven. I'm going to be your entertainment tonight. Welcome to Roosevelt Corrals. Thank you for joining us this evening. Common question. We do have restrooms available at cookout. However, hmm. always gets quiet when I say that. <laughs> they are probably not as nice as that pair over yonder right there. <laughs> The ones we got to cook out because it technically is in the back country, they are going to be pet toilets. They will start out clean. That's it. That's all I'm going to guarantee about that. You need to use them. That is what they're there for. I'd suggest maybe go earlier rather than later. Better to be first than 101st in those. No? All right, I got one question for you. Who is ready for cookout? Yeah. Right, well, let's walk on down there and get going. <coughs> Reminiscent of simpler times, this chuck wagon ride lubricates my arid eyes with such memories of joy. Listening to this bright young British cowgirl and her homegrown counterpart will fill your imagination with some good old fashioned learning. And to end it all, at the end of this majestic ride, the dinner triangle bell shall ring out the sound of come and get it. Steak, it's what's for dinner. Mmm, mmm, good. Yeehaw, boo boo, yeehaw, let's eat. So, during that second dinner bell, you have two options. You can either eat more, which is a great option, or you can come up and pet the horses, and that is the only time that you'll uh, Any questions? Got any diet there? Well, needless to say, the food was very good. There's lots of it. We had a big steak, cooked perfection. Good home cook country food that went with it. It's kind of buffet style. We could have went back and got some more, but me and Mindy decided to uh, go see the horses while they are uh, rusty and boo -boo, decided to uh, go for seconds. My only thing is I wish you had more time out there. I'd like to have sat by the fire for like two or three hours and drink some more coffee. But definitely worth it. Sleep well, my friends. Sleep well. Has anybody seen Mindy? Can't say I've seen her since in the bathroom at the top of the hill. She said something about not having a flashlight or something. Shit. I'm going to join Fleet to search for Mindy. Fleet, hold on. I'll come take a look-see with you. Two sets of eyes is better than one. She can't be far. So the uh, the mud bath thing, I don't think I got it recorded. Somebody threw something in it, but I don't think I had it on the recording. Morons. Morons, morons. Anyway, here we are.